you know who you are, what must you do? Um, what must I do? Right. I mean, um, um, uh, first Kings eight. Two things. Uh, seek, seek, seek most. Uh, well, that, that's fine, bro. Because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna prove to you what you must do, or we're gonna show you what you must do according to God's laws or according to the Bible. That's right. Three. Bring it out. First Kings eight. First Kings chapter eight verse. 46. 46. No. If they sin against thee. So now, the Bible says if we sin against God, because we have sinned, that's why we're in the conditions of America today. That's why we're getting shot down in the streets. That's why we're selling drugs on the block, because we have sinned against God, the one true God, who is a black man according to the Bible. That's uh, right. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Read. And thou be angry with them. So God is angry with us. That's why we're getting shot down in the streets. That's why the crime rate grows exponentially in the black community. Because God is angry with us. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. So we were delivered to our enemies. We were delivered to, into the hands of the Egyptians. In 722 BC, we were delivered into the hands of the Assyrians. In 606 BC, we were delivered into the hands of the Babylonians. Bring it out! Bring it out! In 538 BC, we were delivered into the hands of the Persian and Medes. Bring it out! In 333 BC, we were delivered into the hands of the Greeks. Bring it out! In 63 BC, we were delivered into the hands of the Romans. That's now, right. And now we're in the hands of the of the United States of America. That's, That's right. You know, we so that they carried them away captives because they carried us away captives from the west coast of Africa. They carried us away captives from our homeland, Jerusalem. We unto the land of the enemy. So this is the land of our enemies. But no, we think this is our heaven. We think this is a place for us to have fun. God says we are brought over here to serve punishment. That's right. That's why we're getting shot down in the streets. Read. Far or near. Come on. Yet, if they shall be think themselves. If they shall what? If they shall be think themselves. That's why we're here today teaching you who you are according to the Bible. Because you have to learn who you are. Why is that important? Because during the Renaissance period, they destroyed us and gave us that image. An image that the greatest man to walk this earth was the white man. The Bible right. says that he was black. That's, That's right. right. He looked just like you and he looked just like me. Right. right. What is that going to do for our people? It is going to change our mindset. So when I see you and you see me and I step on your shoes, guess what? I'm going to forgive you and you're going to forgive me because I see you as the greatest man to walk this earth. That's right. I see you as a God. And guess what? That's going to decrease the crime in our society. Bring it up. This is true revolution. The Bible. Politics won't save us. Religion won't save us. Voting won't save us. The only thing that can save us is keeping God's law. Baruch 2 and 30. But there's a problem. There's a serious problem. Because we come out here every Sabbath giving you your nationality. But you won't change. That's right. It is high time we wake up. It is high time we start taking action and changing our community. That's right. As a matter of fact, hold that. Go to Hosea 13 and 9. Tell me, this is very important, bro. Come on. Hosea, chapter 13, verse 9. Bring it out. Oh, Israel. Oh, who? Oh, Israel. Because you're going to learn today that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, That's right. You so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native American Indians, you are God's chosen people. Right. We're not niggas. We're not spicks. We're not coons. We're not wetbacks. Because that's what we were taught. Read. Oh, Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself. What? 
Oh Israel, thou has destroyed thyself. So we are the reason as to why we are the bottom of society. The only problem is us. So we have to change. We have to be the solution. All right, go on. Hosea 13 and 9. Uh -huh. Oh Israel, thou has destroyed thyself. So we have destroyed ourselves. Right. Because we wouldn't take heed to God's commandments. So guess what? We have to fix it. Do you know how to fix it, bro? Do you know what the solutions are to the crime in our societies? Bring it Do you out. know what the solution is to rise up as a people? Repentance. Repentance very good. Baruch 2 and 30. Bring it I'm going to prove it to you. Right? I'm going to prove it to you. Because this Bible is real. And it's the, it is the only solution for us. Because we have tried marching for decades. That's right. It has not worked for us. That's right. What are we going to learn? How much of us are going to get shot down in the streets before we understand who we are? Right. Bring it out. 2 and 30. Boo -hoo. Chapter 2, verse 30. Bring it out. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because we come here every Sabbath teaching you your nationality. But guess what? We walk by like we don't hear nothing. Right. I, get, I bet you if we were white and we were handing out pizzas, everybody would be here. That's, That's right. right. But this is God's word, so we hate it. Right. Read. Because it is a stuff neck people. It is a what? It is a stuff neck people. We are rebellious as hell. Bring it up. That's why we got drug dealers on the block selling drugs to their own people. That's, That's right. right. Why don't you go in the white community and sell your damn drugs, bro? Right. Bring it Why out. Why are you selling drugs to your own people? Right. Because you hate your own people. Right. Oh. Yes, I said it. I said it. You hate your own people. That's, That's right. right. Read. But in the land of their captivity. Because we are in the land of America. And this is where we have brought as captives. Go on. They shall remember themselves. So as the brother was saying, this is where we're going to remember ourselves. That we're who? We're Judah. We're Benjamin. We're Levi. Right? This is where we're going to remember who we are. Because that's what, listen, the Most High God is so brilliant that he states that the only way these Israelites are going to come back to me is to break their backs. That's, that's right. It's to make them work sun up to sun down every day. Right. That is the only way they're going to learn who they are. Go on. Verse 31. And shall know that I am the Lord, their God. Because we're going to know that God was the one who brought us into captivity. Let me get this right here. We're going to know that God is the one that had the Arabs enslaved us. That God was the one who had the Africans sell us to the white man. Right. That's right. We're going to know that through the pain. Give me Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. This is how we're going to know, bro. This is important information to our salvation. That's Come on. right. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. So I return and consider all the oppression that are done under the sun. Read. And behold the tears of such as were oppressed. Because we are the ones oppressed. That's right. We have fatherless children. Right. We have mothers who are raising the children by themselves. Bring it up. Crying on child support. Marching for equality. To hell with equality. God says you are chosen and you are special. Whoa. Let's get it. First Peter 2 and 9. Because you don't have to listen to me. Just listen to this Bible. That's right. Because contrary to Creflo Dollar, con contrary to T.D. Jakes, he's going to tell you what he believes is going to get him more money. But you don't want your money, bro. We want you to keep God's laws. That's right. We want you to repent. 
to hell with money. That's going to burn. Read. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. So quest, God says you are chosen. This is your time, bro. This is your time to come and decide right here. Because that's what being a true man is. Teaching your people. Raising up your children. Taking care of your wives. Go ahead. A royal priest has. We are royal. That's right. We are holy and we are separate. Right out. Have a wife. Okay. And where's she at? Um, in another city. In another city? So do you have, let me ask you this. You have other woman dealing with No. Okay, so you have one wife. One wife. Very good. So now, do you do you work? Yes. What do you do? Work at buffet and pizza. Okay, so you take care of your wife, you take care of your family. Have any kids? Yeah, six. You have six kids. Very good. So now, uh go ahead. So now, you're you're in a good position where you can join us right and help us to continue this movement right give me ecclesi ezekiel 37 and verse 10 because what we're what we're doing right now we're doing it for because we love our people this is love that we're doing but we have to come together zephaniah hola zephaniah 2 and 1 we have to come together because the bible commanded us to do this we can't do it alone. We need you, Marquez. We need you, bro. Right? Read that. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. So God says, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we have to gather together. That's right. Because we were separated and divided through religion. Whoa. We were separated and divided through politics. Right. You know. So we have to come back together under the mindset of God's laws. Because let's say, let's say you you have a mindset to steal. And my mindset is that, okay, I want to have a business. Let's say we come together, right? Is that business going to be successful? No. no. Because you have a covetous spirit. So we have to come under the mindset that, listen, keeping God's laws is going to make this business flourish. You understand that? Bring it up. Very good. Read. Bring it up. Yeah. Gather together, O oh nation, not desire. Because we are the most undesirable people on the face of this planet. That's right. right. That's why Donald Trump will shut down the whole government to build a damn wall. Right, you know, he hates us so much that he will sacrifice the food, the needs, and wants of his own people to keep us out. Right, but why didn't he use that money to help the people in Mexico? Because he's the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. So now, as I was saying that, listen, what we're doing right now is a very important work. And we have to gather together, right? We have to gather together in a mind frame that, listen, keeping God's laws is going to help us as a community. Right. That's it true. starts with a family. And you have a wife, you have kids. That's a solid foundation. Right. That's right. But now you have to move further. You have to move to the community. <clears throat> and then you move to the nation. Get out. So a strong family brings forth a strong community. Right. And a strong community brings forth a strong nation. Teach out. Read. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 10. Uh -huh. out. So I prophesied as he commanded me. The kids were commanded to teach our people. We were commanded to sell drugs, bro. Whoa. We were commanded to get guns and shoot our own people. Right. Oh, you know. We were commanded to teach our people who they are. Read. And the breath came unto them. What is the breath? The breath is this Bible. Right. Whoa. The breath is God's laws. That's right. Read. And they live. And they who? And they live. So right. Now we're living because once we were dead, once we had multiple women, once we were acting as whoremongers. Once we were selling drugs. 
Right. Once we were hating our own brothers, but now we are alive. That's right. right. We are keeping God's laws, and we know who we are. Right. Finish it out. I stood upon their feet. Because now we're not acting as effeminate men walking around with our pants below our butt. Whoa. Right. We are men, and we are standing on our feet. Bring it out. Oh, yeah. Are you offended? No, I said it. Read. An exceeding great army. Because this is an army. Right. This is an exceeding great army. Right. 144,000 is what we need. That's right. Strong men that are willing to raise up their community. Right. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 11. And he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Of right. who? Of Israel. That's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Right. right. Don't you got a party to go to? Overpass? Pass around? Around the loop? Around there or something like that? What the hell, man? Don't you got a party you gotta go to say something, son? Need y'all by 12. Big body sumo flow. If you bout your crown. Kudos though, baby rap yo, town is the uno dos, uno dos, said it's the uno dos, one two, one two. Hey Siri, how's the traffic? Here's the traffic. <laughs> two hours? There's not even that many damn cars out here. What the hell's going on?
say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.